Hi, we're about to do a tutorial on a program called Etratask. It's a very simple program to manage a to-do list. And the way to get it is open up a browser, type in this address, www.etrasoft.com slash HTML. It will bring you to this page. Hit the download button. Hit the download button for Etrodask. And it should begin downloading. Now, depending on your browser, you may get a window like this that shows you that it's downloading. Either way, your download should begin and mine just ended and I'm going to open it, show it in Finder, and there it is. When you open, when you see this DMG, you click on it and it will automatically unstuff it or unzip it. First it'll give you the license agreement and you should read it. Basically says it's free unless you want to donate to them. I'm hitting agree. It will open up and unstuff it. If you can't find the original TMG, it's probably on your desktop. Now we are working with a Mac, as I assume you are too. Okay, I'm going to close this window. Etra task after it's unstuffed itself has on my desktop uh, created these two files. This is an alias to my applications and I'm going to drag the Etratask program into the alias for the applications. Let's try that again. doesn't look like it went. It's copying it to my applications folder. Now we don't need this or th these two which are in this um, DMG. Um, we're going to trash it because they're already in my applications folder now. I'm going to clear my downloads just because I like to keep them clear and get rid of the browser because we're done with that. Now since Etratask is in my applications folder, I'll click go to the dock, click on the finder. Now we're in my finder. In the finder, go to go applications. Within there we should find Etratask. And there we are. You click on Etratask. You can close this window now. Etratask will slowly open. Now we're in Etratask. This is from here on it's very, very easy. Etratask is a little program. By the way, when it's in the dock I would click on keep in the dock. That means now you can click on this. This will remain there. Um, and anytime you want to use this to-do list, you just click on this extra task. Okay, let's say your first task is, I would click on this plus button to type in my first task. My first task would be try out extra task, for example. And the description, I don't need one if I don't want one, I can put it in, it would be Try the application for a day or two to see if I like it. Usually you don't have to type anything in there. Okay. Once you've done that, ignore the resources for now. Once you've done that, just click back in the middle box. That will close and there's your first task. When it's done, you can either click done, which will leave it in there. Um, and that sort of looks cluttered when you've got a whole bunch of things that are done with little check marks next to it. So instead I'll uncheck it and when I'm done I would click on it and then hit the minus button which would totally delete it and you would see nothing here anymore. But right now I haven't tried it out yet 100% so I'll leave it up. I have another task um, later today um, by gro Gross for my description, I'll put what the groceries are, carrots, 
Hillary healthy stuff. Uh, Snickers bar. Okay. Click on the middle here again. That disappears. Now later, when I say, oh yeah, I wanted to buy groceries, I forgot what they were. All I have to do is click on buy groceries. That window comes out. There it is. That was easy. Now, what if I want to try out Etra Task before I want to buy groceries? All I have to do is click on Etra Task and drag it up. And now that's up there first. So I want to add another one now. I want to work on mathmojo.com site, for example, or better than that, work on uh, mathmojo file. It's a file I have on my desk, uh, on my computer that I have to do some work on. So I know it's a resource. I click on the resource box. I hit plus sign, which is add a resource. This is an old computer. Um, it says select one or more files. Which resource is it that I want to use? So it's a file on my desktop, um, and the file that I will want to work on, the MathMojo file that I'm working on, is the file follow-up for numbers juggling. I click open, and there it is. And now I close. And now that's the third thing I want to do. So I can drag that down here. I can drag it anywhere. Any of them you can drag to wherever you like. But it's the third thing. Now when I get to that third thing later, I go, oh man, I wanted to work on that MathMojo file. But I don't remember where the heck it was. What was the name of it again? If I click on it, there it is. Follow up. And all I have to do is double click on, on the icon or hit the open button and it opens the file. This is the actual file that I navigated to before. So when it comes time for me to work on MathMojo, the file I want, I just go here and I click on I either double click on the icon or I click on the open box and it will open the actual thing I wanted to work on. Now I can work on this. Work, work, work. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Okay, I'm done with that. Close the file. And I'm done. Now later, when I say, hey, you know, I've worked on that file and I'm finished, I can delete it. I can delete any of these by clicking on the, clicking on the file, the task, and then clicking on the minus button. Now when I do, what will happen to this file? Nothing. The file will still stay safe. I'm just going to limit the connection between that file and EntraTask. I'm eliminating the alias or path to the file, but the file and the work that I did on it still remains safe, so I can safely now click on the delete button for work on MathMojo. I've done my work, and these are the only things I've got to do left. Well, I did try out EntraTask. So I'm going to subtract that because I know I'll keep at your task. And buying groceries, later I realized, you know, I also wanted to buy napkins. So I can click on that, add napkins, and later I'll know exactly what I have to do. Now when it's time to save it, I can either click on the red button, and I will save this, which is what I'm going to do. And it's going to ask me, what do I want to title this? I'm going to t entitle it Etra Task To Do List. And I'm going to leave it in my Documents folder. I can put it anywhere. You can navigate it to wherever you like. But I'm going to leave it in my Documents file. Save. Now I close Etra Task, quit Etra Task. The whole program, not just that file and that to-do list. You can make as many to-do lists as you like and name them all differently. I like to keep just one. Later, when I click on Etra Task, it will open the program. And you see none of my tasks are here because this is a new to-do list they want, they want to know if you'd like to make. But I don't want a new to-do list. I'll click, uh, click on the red button, close that list. 
doesn't ask me to save anything because I didn't add anything to it. But extra task is still open. That's what that little triangle here is. So if I go to extra task, file, open recent, aha, I can go right to my to-do list without, and there it is. That's the old one. Try this out a little bit. Fool around with it. You'll goof around. You'll, you'll mess it up um, a bit, but you can't really hurt anything. And it's a really, it's about the simplest, halfway powerful to-do list that you can find. And I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, uh, rate it on YouTube. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.